in our teachings as Anishinaabe Kwe, of course women embody the earth, but also we're responsible for the water. The first water that a, a baby is in is in a woman, from the rain to the snow to the you know rivers to the underground aquifers to the water inside a woman. Those are all the different sacred waters. I am Winona LaDuke, Binesi Kwe Indigenikaz Makwondo Dam. I live on the White Earth Reservation, northern Minnesota. I'm a human being, just trying to be a decent human being here. I happen to be Anishinaabe. I'm a mother, grandma. Right now, we are facing the largest pipeline company in the world, the Enbridge Company, plus the Koch brothers. And they will destroy our water if we let them in here. So I, I want people to think about that, that you can live without oil, but you cannot live without water. I get the whole thing of we all use oil, but what I want is a graceful and elegant transition out of it. Because the fact is, is that what remains in the petroleum era is gonna kill us. Oh, oh, oh great, great spirit. Great spirit for my brothers, let me be a mountain under. Which he climbs to discover his process And that's progress Great spirit, all that hinders Tie reminders to my fingers I must speak with you more often In our prophecies, they say this is a time of the seventh fire As Anishinaabe people, we'd have a choice between two paths And one path would be well-worn but scorched the other path would be green, and it would be our choice upon which path to embark. Give them strength to face racism in every single situation. Easy now, go on and speak loud. Don't spirit take me instead. Got me down the road of red and cushion. I am saying, Great, 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 great